Hello Cancer, welcome to your weekly forecast. I hope you all are doing well and thanks so much for tuning in to this weekly reading, which by the way was a special request. Uh, I, I, I polled my viewers and subscribers last week, asked them what they want to see on my channel and given a few options of things and you all voted or some of you voted on weekly forecast. Now of course that's not what everyone wants, but uh, majority voted for weekly forecast. So here I am today delivering to you what it is that you all voted for and um i'm happy to do so even though i did retire the weekly forecast from doing them five years in a row every month uh every week for five years and i uh, just had moved on to doing other things on my channel but happy to bring them back for my viewers and subscribers that did vote on having them back uh, at least for the month of april so cancer um you can watch this reading. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. Gotta get used to using my vocal cords this much. Um, but you guys are the last ones I'm recording today, by the way. It is Good Friday. Happy Easter to those of you who celebrate. And uh, uh, yeah, we just had Passover, Passover, and then uh, uh, we have Easter coming up, Orthodox Easter the following week, and then um, Adel Fatir for those of you who celebrate Adel Fatir, and then uh, Ramadan as well this week. So. Sending you all uh, many blessings for these holy days coming up and going forward. Um, I'm truly uh, blessed to be here today to deliver you guys this reading, which, by the way, you can watch if you are a Cancer Sun, Moon, or Rising, Cancer on the House Cusp. If you have your Sun in the fourth house or Venus in Cancer, feel free to tune in. Um, also, last quick announcement I do offer personals. If you would like to book a personal private tarot reading with me, I do have openings available this month and going forward. You can find my website down below in the description box as well as my scheduling page also up in the right hand corner. Just click that eye in the sky that will take you to my scheduling page where you can book a reading at your convenience. Uh, anything else? Cancer, cancer, cancer. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a weekly forecast for you guys, so of course I am excited. Uh, this reading uh, brought to you by Crow Tarot Deck Today, created by MJ Colonnade. Uh, we've got publisher information here, US Game Systems Incorporated. By the way, I always list my decks below in the description box for anyone interested. Oracle Messages Today, brought to you by Threads of Fate Oracle Shadow Edition. Uh, this little deck here, you can find them at www.thethreadsoffate.com or at The Threads of Fate. Blair Porter and Bridge June are the creators of this deck. Here's a little QR code for those of you who would like to scan that in and get more information, such as the guidebook, etc. Okay, Cancer. Donation information is down below the description box. It's not expected nor required. These are free readings on my channel. Of course, I do have ads running and so forth, so I don't get much ad revenue, but whatever ad revenue I get, trust me when I say it goes back into the business. And um, speaking of business, uh, yes, it is that time of year. And next month, my rates for services will be going up due to inflation and the cost of doing business in the state of Illinois as a self-employed entrepreneur. So if you would like to book a reading, now is a great time. Take advantage of my current service pricing, please. So Cancer, let's see. We are looking at six cards for your week ahead in case I didn't mention that either. And let's go ahead and jump into it. Spirit, show me what is going on for Cancer the week of April 10th through the 16th, 2023. All Cancers that may be watching, Cancer suns, moons, and risings. Cancers on the house cusp, those with their sun in the fourth house and Venus and Cancer. Feel free to tune in, all of you. Cross watchers are also welcome here. Show me, how does Cancer see themselves today, the day that they get this reading, which will probably be Monday morning. That's what I have decided on so far. That's the soonest I can get your readings out, really. Uh, what is the theme for their week ahead, Spirit? What is something Cancer has learned in the past that will be useful for them to remember this week? Okay, a challenge they may be facing. Okay, a lesson they are learning now. And a gift they will receive. Guys, get that like button, hit that, smash that like button for me, hit subscribe, leave a comment if you like. Leave me your feedback. I'm always 
happy to hear from my viewers and subscribers. Most of you all leave me very nice messages and uh, I'd love to hear from you anyway. So don't be shy in the comments. Okay. Well, don't be shy at all because contrary to what you might think, I'm actually a very nice person. No. I don't bite. Not really. Okay. This was a messy shuffle, but you know what? These nails are coming off soon as soon as I figure out how to get them off. Ha ha ha. Okay. Shouldn't have put them on if I didn't know how to get them off, but you know what? It takes a special type of, it takes two things. You need two, two things to get them off, and I just don't have those two things right now. Well, not really. Two or three things. Underneath the deck, we have the Emperor. Mm, he's in reverse. Are you dealing with an Aries, Taurus, or a Leo? Someone in charge here has a Napoleon complex. Someone is out of control here. Someone could be raging. This could also be a loss of power. So something could be devolving into some sort of chaos. Okay, we're not, we don't have any structure here. We don't have any boundaries. Um, or this is someone we're dealing with like this. Maybe a boss or a superior. Oh, the stars are in reverse. And someone is feeling quite cynical or hopeless about a situation. Is this ever going to improve? There's the, there's the six of wands in reverse. Hmm. What is this about? Someone didn't get the time of day. Someone did not get their ego stroked and now they're pissed. Okay, this could be someone you're dealing with. They're hopping mad, Cancer, whoever this is, this emperor in reverse. Watch out, they could have a temper, or this is you. How you see yourself today, we have the, the King of Swords in reverse, Saturn's energy. So this could be, you could have Aquarius highly aspected, you could have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius highly aspected. Okay, the King of Swords reverse is, uh, is my arch nemesis card. He is, he can be, he can be quite the enemy, all right? He's vicious, he's ferocious. This is someone that doesn't give any F-U-C-Ks. They really don't. And they will take uh, the law into their own hands, truly. You might be seeking revenge on someone here. You're not in how you're projecting onto my table today with the King of Swords reversed is someone that's not very happy about a situation and is really um, out for blood here. Now, if that's not the case, then uh, you could be seeking legal reparations uh, uh, for something here. Uh, you may be seeking revenge or plotting something terrible here. I don't know what. What is the theme for your week ahead? We have the hanged man in reverse. Well, this tells me that maybe you're not taking any action this week, but you are going to be thinking about it. You're going to be thinking a lot about something here. You're not ready. You're not quite ready to release whatever this is to the world, but you are going to be in your head a lot. Okay. Now, a couple things about the hangman. The hangman can be a traitor as well. Uh huh. Yeah. This can be someone that likes to sit on the fence. All right. Um, but one thing's for sure. If this isn't you, I mean, you could be dealing with a Pisces, I suppose. This person has, you got them in their head thinking about something here. Now, typically the hangman reverse is also someone that's quite inflexible, okay? They are very stubborn. Uh, They're they not going to bend the knee here. And this is someone that uh, likes things their way. They would rather you bend the knee than they bend the knee, or vice versa, if this is your energy. I don't think you have too many nice things to say about this person, or if this is you, I don't think you are quite ready to give in to some scenario here. You're not willing to compromise. You would rather think about it some more. Okay. I don't know what this is about. I truly do not. But let's see. In your past, you did learn a lesson regarding the Eight of Cups in reverse. This card came up in the exact same position as Gemini's reading. So maybe you have Gemini in your chart, or you could be dealing with a Gemini, or this is just a coincidence, but 
See, there was a situation in the past here that someone could not leave behind. And they probably tried for, for a long time to leave something behind here. This is a very avoidant energy as well, because we're keep going and we're, we're going in a circle here. We're avoiding, avoiding, avoiding. And now it's gotten to the point where it looks like someone is ready to take action here. Someone definitely has some, some not so nice things to say to someone. So in your challenge position here, we have the eight of swords, Gemini's energy. Someone is stuck, someone is trapped, someone uh, does not see a problem for what it is. In other words, someone feels like a victim here. I don't know what this is, Cancer. You, you, Someone got you in your head, up in your head here, or you got someone up in their head. Someone is truly trapped in a situation. They're stuck and they don't see a way out. That's what I see with this card in this position. Okay, but remember... These swords represent our thoughts. So this is like a mental construct. This is like, you know, your beliefs, your limiting, your self-limiting beliefs here. You've created some sort of scenario here in which you feel stuck, you feel trapped, you feel like there's nothing you can do about a situation. Or they do. Flip it. However, however it fits, however it works. What is the lesson you're learning now? The lovers, Gemini. You, you could be dealing with a Gemini. Okay, this could be a twin flame situation. I see someone here that could be mirroring your energy, like your mirror, so your twin or your lover. Uh, this is kind of reminds me of, so we have like a hypocritical sort of like, um, yeah, this is a hypocrite here. This is a charlatan. This is someone that says one thing but does another or they don't practice what they preach. But what I feel is going on here is I feel like someone is doing to you what you did to them or vice versa. You're doing to someone what they did to you, but it's just mirroring behavior. See these lovers? These crows are butting heads here. Okay. But you do have a decision to make. I feel like it's a love-related decision. Or there's some, there's some decision you have to make here. It's a pretty major decision. They're saying that you need to go with your heart because your head is just keeping you stuck in this situation. What does your heart say about this? It seems like you're ready to leave something behind. If I if I'm to be honest, it seems like you're you've done you've 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 gone through this a million times before. And your heart is really saying that you need to walk away. Correct me if I'm wrong. I could I could be wrong, but that's what I'm seeing. What is the gift you will receive? A four of wands okay nice well this is a positive card in my opinion it is a card of aries and so the gift that you will receive is joy and stability around your home and family if you have any concerns is my family safe will my home environment be okay will i find joy and stability yes you will and this is also a good card for relationships because we have 11 11 here so it looks like this has a happy ending from what I can see. If your question is, will I move in with someone? Will we get married? Will I have a happy home and family? Yes, I feel like the answer is yes, you will. Will I find a resolution to my problem? Yes, I feel like you will. If this has to do with a living situation, now maybe you're the landlord or you're dealing with the landlord or something like that. Look, I feel like this is going to be resolved. I feel like you can work this out, but I feel like you need to go with your heart in this situation, not your head. Your head is just keeping you stuck, okay? So don't go there if you can If you can absolutely do that. If you have some decision to make, they're saying go with your heart on this decision. All right. Okay, let's see. What is your guidance spirit for... I keep wanting to say Gemini. No, we're on Cancer. What is your guidance for Cancer this week? Show me. What is your guidance for Cancer? We have the Warrior. Look at that. Aries coming through. Look at that. You see the Ram? Yeah. This is Mars energy. Someone is in a fighting spirit. Well, Mars is in your sign, Cancer. Yeah, there's the sword. There's something here that you are fighting for. You want justice in a situation, but how you go about that, let's see. 
I'm interested to see what, what this is about here. You are using your sword for something here. You don't like what someone's doing. Okay, you want justice in a situation. I get it. Let's see, what's this? What is this about? Let me find the warrior here. Yeah, I pulled right to it. Number 68. Pulling the warrior card indicates a need for strong fire energy and internal power. The warrior is a call to action as opposed to just a state of mind. It asks you to examine not just oppressive people in your life, but also the larger systems within the world and then get to work. The warrior is not about complacency. In identifying where you need to stand up more, you may make those around you feel uncomfortable and defensive, but you must continue forward. The warrior can have a cutting message. It is saying, I see what you are doing, but what else can you do? Warrior sacrifices parts of themselves for humanity at large. Yeah, that's what this... <gasps> okay. No, I, I don't want to hear you, Siri. See, that's the AI getting involved here. I figure, you know, I get a lot of Siri messages whenever I'm talking, whenever I say Pisces. So, of course, there could be some interference here when it comes to AI stuff. Okay, like the algorithm or whatever, machine learning. Uh, someone could just be kind of like, I don't know, looking stuff up on the internet. Let's see, what is this? Yeah, the warrior can have a cutting message. It is saying, I see what you are doing, but what else can you do? Warrior sacrifices, the hangman, sacrifices parts of themselves for humanity at large. The balanced the balanced warrior fights to create positive change, but may go about it in questionable ways. They are strong and resilient and do not have fear when they go up against oppressors. When the warrior is in balance, they can be very inflammatory and hyper aggressive. They can push those away that may be of use to them and easily bypass things that are good for them. They don't understand the concept of pick your battles and react with equal intensity, no matter how big or small the issue is. Okay. Look, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt, uh, cancer. I feel that you are fighting for something because you are feeling oppressed or stuck in a situation. The only advice I can give you is to pick your battles carefully. Then again, you're sacrificing parts of yourself for humanity. So if you are sacrificing, for example, your heart in favor of your sword, your mind, then keep that in mind that uh, when it comes to matters of the heart, you're not going to have a heart. <laughs> Does that make sense? Because you're fighting with your sword which is not your heart. That's your mind in the tarot. The sword represents communication, mental, mental stuff, uh, mental work. And, um, uh, well, also the expression, the pen is mightier than the sword comes to mind. So you could be writing something or you could be speaking something, whatever that is, it's your truth. It's your way of battle battling here some injustice in the world that you feel that you have taken upon yourself to sacrifice a part of yourself for humanity so that you can fight this oppressive force in your life. Whatever that oppressive force is, it could be this emperor in reverse. And all throughout history, we found people that have done such things for others, okay? And civil rights movements, for example, uh, to even before then, okay, we've had people that have had to fight for their freedom, fight against the oppressive forces or the systemic oppression, for example, such as, um, you know, people of color needing to stand up and fight against uh, the oppressive, uh, you know, um, uh, the oppressive forces uh, that have prevented that prevented people from having uh, equal rights and freedom. Okay, so fighting against the majority as well. 
for example, uh, white, uh, older, older white men in charge or, uh, you know, the majority being maybe white people or the majority being, uh, you know, uh, men or the majority being whatever you feel is oppressing you. It could also just be something having to do with um, your culture, like how you perceive an, an oppressive, something oppressive in your culture. I'm giving that as examples because that's what we see a lot of today, okay? And also I'm recognizing that me being a white woman, um, I am probably, if I'm going to be discriminated against, it's because I am likely not part of the minority, okay? I'm not part of the minority that's fighting for equal rights and freedom. I'm part of the majority. That doesn't mean that I am uh, trying to prevent people from having equal rights and freedom. I am working, I am there for people that are fighting for their freedoms and their equal rights, and I will continue to do that. But if you happen to find yourself on the other side of the spectrum, just know that I understand as much as I can possibly understand, even though I am not that person. Uh, however, I do find myself, I have found myself many times in my life uh, in, the other, in the other person's shoes, strange as that may seem. So I do understand what oppression is to some degree. However, it's impossible for me to say that I've been systemically oppressed in my life because I am a white female understand that I understand that as well. Anyway, I've already said enough. Cancer, this is what I have for you today. Thank you for watching and I send you peace, blessings, and love and light and all that stuff. So take care all of you and I will see you guys back later.